Hey, Spuddies, Potato Whiskey here, and welcome to the Giga Battle. Let's get ready to rumble. Uh, now, I'm curious to see if I auto combat this, how does the result go? I'm expecting to win. W? Slithers? Huge W for Slithers. Now, do I think I could fight this battle without losing a Slither? That is the real question. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what went on here in this battle. I'm curious, because if I get such a good outcome, should I? Could I get better outcome? That's the real question here. All right, let's speed this bad boy up and have a look here. Okay, so he healed him up. He used his heal ability straight away. Damn, that dragon looks sick as hell, man. Dude, my dragon looks dope. I actually think I could do better. I think I could do better, he said about his girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I... Whoa, actually, I like the way the AI is playing here. Now, they're attacking me. Unleash the beast. Yeah, I could definitely do better. Now, I like how aggressive my troops are, but I feel like I could do quite a bit better here if I were to actually fight this myself. Because theoretically, I'm supposed to be the one on the defensive here. He's supposed to be attacking me. And yet my troops are the ones that are approaching, getting AOE'd down. Big gilded hit. Huge gilded hit. Um, we just gilded like half the enemy army with that breath attack. All right. We're killing. Oh! that flank. I love how because the slithers are um, single entity units, they don't lose damage as they take damage. It's one of my favorite parts of single entities. I think I can do better. I think I can do better. I'm going to go ahead and fight this battle manually, manually, and see if I can keep more units alive. Now, I get to act first because I am the defender. And my hope is that I can make use of the skirmishing and so on properties of all of my units here. Now, you have this beautiful restoration ability, which is very, very cool. Let me see. Let's move you this way. You move to here. You move to here. I'm going to set you guys up for a big regen turn on the left side. I'll send all these crappy little slithery boys forward. Their job is to be a major distraction in the center. I'll send one slithery boy to the right. Uh, we'll move you to here and do a rally. Boom. Um, otherwise, I think we, we play the sides. Maybe playing the sides is the move. Let me see here. What do you got to here? You got Virulent Outbreak. You can go down mid, man. Unleash the beast. Boom. All right, let's see how they react. I'm curious to see. Are they going to split their forces up? Or are they going to concentrate like their forces in the center? It looks like they're concentrating in the center, which I'm super okay with. Let's just pull back a tile, I reckon, on these guys to see how the AI plays it. Um make sure we turn all of our units around what kind of spell do we want to cast here i think we do a call of the wild i think it's a pretty efficient spell to give us defense and damage across the board now these zephyr archers do a lot of damage but i think if i play little wild animals um and keep my units fairly spread now i can get a poison on him that's beautiful nice crit that'll do it give him a little restore throw a little poison zap and a little Poison sap. Um, now you have the virulent outbreak ability, so this could actually be big if we drop it right there. Skadoosh. Not many poisons, but a good disease and poison. Uh, this guy's poisoned and disease, so he should take serious damage. I'm quite happy about that. Now on this flank, I want to get my hero into a position. I'll fire the wand at this guy. That seems reasonable. I'll get the wolf to do some stuff too. Let's get up real close, but we're going to like range down this boy. Now, what is he again? That's a copper golem. So he's going to be immune to poison, which is fine. He's allowed to be immune. But what he's not allowed is to not get bitten by the doggo. Doggo bit him. Let's rush forward with this guy. We're going to create a little baby unit, a little spider hatchling for next turn. And I think we're already off to a good start because this central area, we don't care if these guys die. And if some of them pull off to the left, like that's great. Um, but we're going to hit them with a fat gilded blast too soon. Oof. A little bit of flanking. AoE damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a little bit of AoE. We'll do some work. Oh, well, this is perfect. Now, if you come to here and you drop a gilding dragon breath there, boom. So bleeding, gilded, poisons, poisoned, the whole lot. That's a great ability. We're going to go ahead. Do I drop a blossom of life over here? I could. I think getting behind this guy and hitting him twice. Boom, boom. Finishing him. You have triple attacks. So where do we where do we best put that damage? What, what can we do over this side? I definitely want to unleash the beast on this wolf. And then we can double melee strike this hero. Kachunk, Kachunk for 60 plus damage. I think we just ranged spam at these guys just to get a little bit of free damage. Um, 
it's not much in the way of free damage, but it's a little. So we just did like 20 damage at no cost, no risk. That dragon needs to be hit, I think. Click, click, click. There we go. Let's get the shock unit in here to break this guy's defense, make it harder for him to move around. Um, you could melee strike. Now I could unleash the beast on you. You could run forward and double melee strike this guy for 27 damage, or you could run all the way up here. I think we double melee strike for 27. Now, you're a little bit hurt, so I'm going to get you to retreat and hurt him. And you should, if they try to kill you, teleport away. Um, then I want you to flank this archer, because that's big damage. Bang. Oh, flanker and critical hit. Now, if you go for this, you would also take... Bang. There we go. Perfect. Um, go ahead and slap him. He'll be really encouraged to kill you. It'll be perfect. Um, I definitely want to try to take out that hero. Let me have a look. 60%. No matter where I stand, it's about 60%. So if I go here, I could 60% him. It was a graze. If I go here, I could 60% him. Oh, perfect. That's what we like to see. I can get 18 damage or I can get 15 on him. This guy's a bit more of a threat. So I'd like to put damage on things that are actually scary. Um, youthful rejuvenation. I don't know. I could animate a flora back here to help out. I think I will just to help deal with this archer right here. Um, one, two, three. That's a big old hit. So he'll have to move and get hit multiple or single times or whatever. So we're just controlling the battlefield a little bit. Main goal is to try to keep all of my units alive now. Big damage. These slithers have resurgence, the little baby slithers. It's the more grown-up slithers I have to worry about. All right, nice. He was going for a tail whip, it seems like. Oh, the crit. The crit. Big damage. All right. I think we have this in the bag. Okay, um, I do think a youthful rejuvenation on this guy could help me out a bit. Let's use this guy to get the shock kill. Let's see where we stand. Now, these guys can die. I don't care about them. Well, I care about them, but it doesn't matter if they die, basically. Um, so let's melee attack you. There's a whole host of damage. Lovely. Um, we'll melee attack you as well. A whole host of damage. Alrighty, let's... Finish this battle off. I got dinner. That's why there's a weird pause in the video. Um, ooh. So I think the best thing I could do with my damage is if we hit all three of these and kill this guy. Ooh, we missed one. That sucks. Can you get this kill? Nope. Hmm. Let's have a look at the left side. What can we do over here? Well, this little crappy spider could die. We could take his reaction fire away. Um, do that little tiny bit of damage. We could finish him with the wild speaker. That's actually super efficient. My hero is still active. I'm surprised at how little damage he does. How much shield? 16. Jesus. Let's kill the scout. I think it should be fairly easy and straightforward to kill. Boom, that scout is now dead. I think we just want to slip around and hit these guys in the back. I think that's the best way we can kind of deal with them. If you go to here, shoot your little poison splurt. Uh, you claw the face off this guy. Claw, claw, claw the triple crit. Now getting triple crit, that feels bad, at least on his behalf. All right, we still got a little bit of stuff over here. I reckon if I kill this, maybe they'll flee. I need to get someone to flee. All right, let's do a little old heal on this guy. Can't quite quill hit. We might be able to kill this dragon. Let's have a look. Demonic Rage. So what are we down to health-wise? 38. Oh, we can make it work. Enemies fleeing? Just about. The only thing that's still holding is this iron golem over here. So we, we got it in the bag, man. Boom, boom, boom. Easy clap. Uh, Ghost Wolf got a bite in him. Nom nom. 32 damage critical hit. Let's go ahead and end that turn and see how she rolls. I'm genuinely shocked that we managed to clear, like basically clean sweep this. Uh, pretty, like very cleanly with a little to no losses. We are going to accept the enemy surrender. They're going to flee and we're going to pick up 84 cash. Not bad. Most of our units are still full health. And we just obliterated another set of army stacks off this guy. Now, our units are starting to level up nicely. They're up to champion level. Like These guys are almost legends. Think of the amount of health these guys have. Let's go ahead and grab you, my boy. Uh, we should be able to auto combat this without any losses. Perfect. Uh, two turns until the city is broken. Now, while we wait for that city to break, we should be able to sneak a few slithers off to do a wee bit of pillaging. Not a whole lot, just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. So other people are starting to build their, their seeds and their groves and their thises and their thats and their thems and their doodly boops. Uh, Ralic is under siege. That's okay. We're bringing gigastacks of little gremloids down here. Kind of annoying that the mounted unit still only has 32 movement speed. Magnafort is under siege from this huge stack. Uh, we're going to have to start summoning wild animals into the city to try and get some defenses. 
I don't know how many units I'll be able to get in there. We do get the Merchant's Guild in here and we do have the Golem Mine, so that's like a sick amount of money. Um, I would like the Ancient Battle Ritual site or whatever it's called and the Ancestral Seer Hall. I think I could use the signs, I could use the draft. I could really use the Furies, but I can't afford them. Damn it. I'll have to build a couple of Slither Hatchlings to send to Magnaford. I need this guy to go away. Like he's just goddamn dragons dude um put my cities under siege uh, gash of the viper has leveled up now gash of the viper i believe was set up for melee fighting so it would be nice to get martial expertise i'm less enamored with killing momentum but martial expertise seems quite good um plus 10 percent damage i could also go for uh, sentinel keen edge is pretty good too i'll go for martial expertise that 10 percent extra base damage is quite handy uh we do have some empire development skills we're not gonna pick them there is something to be said, making research structures cheaper. I think I'll take it. We managed to capture Corwin the Philosopher. He has quite a few items, so I'm going to go ahead and execute him. So I'll come over to Wundheart and I will lock in a prison cell and put it all the way to the forefront. Alrighty, summon these wild, wild animals. Hey, a tier two bird. That'll help. We got the Ancestral Seer Hall. We're going to take a pretty bad hit to our economy here soon. It's not going to be fun. We're not going to like it. Oh, defensive pact with Zetevika World Shaper. That's actually great. So now uh, four of the people on the map are our allies out of a possible four, I guess. So we have chosen a side in the Dragon War. And I hope that we've chosen the winning side. I mean, I'm taking on Gem Keep here. I don't even know if I should try to keep it or blow it up. I think I blow it up. I think that's the move. Get rid of it. Uh, but my empire is crumbling around me as I engage in this war. My hope is that if I take this guy out, I'll make enough money and enough like unit power and all this sort of stuff that it'll catapult me into a place where I feel a little bit more secure um, when it comes to the rest of the game. Now he is spawning stuff in here. He's got a war breed. He's got his destroyer. Uh, he's got might of the destroyer. He has an extra retaliation, 60 hit points, frenzy, berserker's rage, lifesteal. Uh, he's a juggernaut. He has fiery rebirth. Oh my God. He's got chaos transformation. He's got chaos aspect. That is terrifying. Let's keep that city safe, though. That's all we can do. Ooh. Uh, I'm not afraid of you bandits, so you guys can keep on rampaging, because I'm going to rampage your mom. Uh, we got to auto combat this. Should be an easy clear. Uh, we do need to deal with this thing over here. We'll have to kind of get our city over there. We'll, we'll deal with this next turn. Um, this will be a hard fight. The city itself should be fine. We're just we're, we're putting out fires, right? That's the thing. Putting out fires left, right, and center. Um, let's make sure we have all of our units in position before we do this. This should be what I would consider to be a very easy siege, so I'm just going to auto combat it. I shouldn't lose anything. Yeah, okay, so the easy auto combat, we get 100 cash, blast it open. I think we vassalize here? I was going to raise, but raising takes longer, and yeah, I think it's safer to vassalize. All right, let's keep dropping pets into this, uh, city. We did manage to get a tier 2 Inferno Hound. I don't know how this battle is going to go, man. Um, that is two bone dragons. <sighs> Yeesh. All right, we'll see. I wonder, can I do the Cursed Barrows mission here? Just get, let me give us a, a, a soul. Delayed stirring skeletons. Uh, I will not be fighting that battle right now. It's on the cards, though. Orders required. Empowered beasts is finished. Hey. Eh? Uh, we will be casting that because that's 20% damage, 10 hit points and demolisher. Really feels like beasts didn't have anything until I cast this. Oh my God, it's so expensive. It's going to be awesome. I don't even know if my economy can sustain this. Um, and I honestly, I don't care. So what are you? What level are you? You're level six. So take martial expertise for that little bit of extra damage. You'll be good to go. Impossible battle. That's what they're saying. Saying this is impossible. Let's auto resolve. See what we get. We don't even kill something. Do they just sit on the city? Are they going to blow it up? Or do they just siege it? I don't know. Look, I don't have time to deal with you, okay? I'm busy trying to kill uh, Yellow Dragon Man. That is his official name, his official title, his official rank, in fact. Can I build an outpost here? No. Nope. God damn it. One more turn and then this city converts. Well, at the very least, that saved me some money, all that losses. You always got to look on the bright side of life. God damn, he brought in more war breeds. It's all right. I'm throwing everything I got at his, uh, his ally. All right, so I think we have to take this out two stacks at a time. So auto combat this should be an easy win. Yeah, it should be an easy win. And then we should um, blast this. Easy win as well. Take all the money and the resources, the storm more, heavy greaves. Hey, building up that dragon horde. Um, not a bad horde so far, all things considered. Although my heroes don't have many items equipped as a consequence of the fact that I get money and mana from the horde. All right, well, the city isn't under siege anymore. I just need to be careful as to not be in range of them force marching to me and killing me alone. 
Um, yeah. Cellar Arcane Research. Ooh, Unleash the Beast. Five strength and five bolstered and a berserk on a beast unit. Wouldn't mind building a wildlife sanctuary. This farm right here is a good spot for it. Now that we don't need so many farms. Um, I could also build the Seed of Nature. I, I need to build a teleporter. That's something I really need to build. Um, the teleporter is going to go this farm right here. I think that's a pretty central teleporter location. It means my allies might actually be able to assist me when things go bad. I'm going to put a forest of stakes on this forester right here. I will put a wildlife sanctuary right there. No, I cancel the forest of stakes. It's going to go on that quarry instead. That's better, I think. Shasta Warden has managed to level up again. I could go for defense. He's more of a leader now. So I do think like defensive training is quite good here. I could go for inspiring leader. Yeah, let's go for inspiring leader. It'll save me a bit of cash in the long run. Uh, we got Agavar Arrowcatcher, the Metropolitan Lizards. He had a bit of loot, so we shall sell his remains. Um, I have someone in prison. I'm going to execute Corwin the Philosopher. Gadoosh. And um, I guess I'm going to sell off these corpses for items. Ooh, I could build a teleporter over here. I will. Based. I have a reinforcement line now to this guy's city. Now, Gemkeep has been converted. Uh, they won't love me for that. I will give them a Whispering Stone, the goal of which will be to build up that relationship and keep them happy. And I suppose we give our units a couple turns to heal up. So let's go to there. Kind of get everyone positioned around the direction we want to head. Oh, he was coming for us. He was coming for us. Let's get our third stack of these little lizard babies going. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to hold this city, but I'll do my best. Right, let's build that conduit. Oh, Empowered Beasts is expensive, but we are going to go ahead and cast it. We can just about afford it. Now, this is actually quite good because Empowered Beasts, right? This is going to make these guys quite a bit stronger, right? It's a lot of extra health. It's a lot of extra damage on these guys, especially. Um, the Demolisher is less important. It's more so now, like, my animals that were, like, pretty strong and are quite a bit stronger too. I don't even... Oh, actually, we might be able to win this battle here. It's only two Warbreeds and a Berserker. Unless they're, like, somehow hiding the rest of their army. Um, this is a fantastic opportunity for us here. Now, they do have a Volapar of the Destroyer. Oh, what if we auto-combat? What happens? Fairly easy victory. Take that battle, and then we just run on home. Our goal is to try and stay alive while we kill... Uh, Gold Dragon Man. So we got market in Halheim. I really want the mint, um, but I think it would make more sense for me to get the stonemason first to get that productivity up. Magnaford is ready to build a new thing, um, but this city is basically under siege. This stack here is a problem. I suppose I could start training some slithers. Let's just keep producing merchandise. Merchandise. Is that like a Pokemon? Like Blastoise? So this guy's ready to talk about new treaties. I'll do an alliance with you. Uh, do we want to add? No, we've got all the treaties. We've got all the stuff. So I've allied with two of the six dragons. I just need to get Sansevar and Zetevika into my alliance. He'll take it in four turns. Zetevika will take it in now. Hey, Zetevika will take it now. We can share our vision. We can do a teleporter pack, so now she'll be able to actually potentially reinforce me. And we're setting ourselves up for a potential victory here. In the city of Magnaford, there's not much I can do to protect this city. Hey, 1337 mana. Poggers. All right, the fortifications in Magnaford are back. We are producing furies, I think, slowly. Ooh, we could catch the enemy lord out in the open. Nobody has enough movement to catch him, I think. <gasps> My spirit wolf does. No, he's just slightly too slow. What if I build a road to there, we march to here. Oh, we can catch the enemy lord in the open. I'll build an outpost on this tile as a reinforcement point. Um, this is huge. The fact that we caught him alone in the open. What if we auto combat? What happens? I lose a slither, but gaining 155 gold is worth it, I think. Yeah, I lose a slither, but I think I can just reinforce with summon wild animal. And wild... A dread spider ain't exactly what I was looking for. If I can take out this teleporter, my enemies won't be able to reinforce. And then we can blast Father's Rest early. We've already knocked him out. That's huge. I think what I will do is I'm going to summon more things. 
to run around and pillage with. So I wish Ralic had a teleporter. It would take seven turns to build, but it would mean I'd be able to get from here to here in a single turn. Ooh, I get 191 gold and I lose a little bit of research. I mean, losing research sucks, but I'll take the money. Let's pop down a teleporter. I will build a palisade wall here. Don't think I can get the city under siege this turn, can I? Oh, I can. So we walk to here, we grab this hero, we step up, put the city under siege. Now, we're going to go in here and we're going to pick up the plus one siege project. Ah, I want this plus one siege project because it makes them cheaper. I would, I would love to have both, but I can't have both. Uh, we're going to add siege projects. Bolt repeaters for four siege per turn. So that's eight turns. A headlong assault for six turns. And sabotaging the support for five turns. So five turns is as fast as I can get it. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to send through this hero stack to the teleporter. Uh, I'll just keep my slithers on target down here. Let's summon a wild animal right here. And we'll just start pulling apart his economy. Um, while I don't like the idea of having to go evil, the big thing over here would be as if I could get this spell jammer and break it. Being able to cast spells would be a huge advantage in this battle that's going to be coming for this city in five turns. I think my ally has come to help me. Bozarkan has used my teleporter to come assist in the killing of this golden dragon. So I can kind of lead my allies around by the nose, uh, which is super poggers. We'll drop an animal right over here and then we'll move that animal onto the spell jammer. We actually managed to grab ourselves a warg here. We're going a little bit negative into the mana. Uh, we should be able to deal with that in the coming turns. So I've got four farms in Relic. It could be good for me to get some other stuff in here. Like for example, um, if I got a couple of quarries, I could maybe get my shrines up. So yeah, let's do that. I'll grab a quarry right there. Then I'll come into Relic and we'll get started on this shrine. In fact, that mana, it would be nice to get that mana now. Um, but I think the stone mason is better. So he wants to make peace. He wants to truce. I'm going to decline that because every dragon that I kill is actually just a huge win for me. Oh God, the feckin' brigands are spawning we've we have a few fires to put out but one of the biggest fires is gonna be this golden dragon now i have a choice i could teleport in more army stacks and i think i will teleport in more army stacks to to, to assist in the siege it's gonna happen in two turns let's go for the shrine here in halheim that'll be 10 mana per turn excellent a lot of conduits in this city this could be a mage uh, a conduit city like a, a mage's guild city the city of Wundhart is in a pretty good spot. I'm going to grab the Town Hall Halls of War. This will increase the range the city can annex, but also give me 10 gold per turn, which doesn't sound like much, but it really adds up. Ooh, yes, I like this. Making province pillages happen faster. That's a nice one. I'm going to take that. I should actually be able to cancel my pillage here and then redo it and get it in a single turn. And similarly, if I re if I redo my pillages, I'll actually, I'll actually get more money out of it. And that'll actually really help me sustain my economy. Yes, I'll be evil, which obviously isn't ideal from a diplomacy standpoint, but I've already got my alliances locked in. Magnaford gains. Ooh, I, could, I don't think I can afford to lose that. I'll just say I have no time for this because I don't want to lose two population. I was going to say I have no time for this. It's not, it's not something I want to participate in. This is going to be a truly epic battle for this city. Um, I'm shocked these guys aren't closing for the battle. It would be really helpful if they did. All right, let's keep keep on blasting here. I'm going to steal the layer of silk. Um, I might put an outpost beside that so I can own it directly because that'll be worth five, um, five Imperium per turn, which is quite nice. I think I will take super growth here, plus 10 hit points, plus some retaliation attack, decreased number in the formation. That seems quite good. I would like greater summon animal as well, but I'll go for super growth first. Uh, Magnafort is under siege again. They're constantly sieging that. I am now very evil, which is obviously not ideal. He wants 200 gold for the alliance. I think that's partially because he doesn't like my um, status. Let me have a look here. Maybe I can settle some grievances. It's a fabricated transgression. You jerk. How do you feel about the alliance now? You still want 200 gold. Whatever. I'll take the alliance just to lock that in. So now I'm fully allied with half of the half of the dragons. Ooh, he came from the underground passage. Well, that's a problem. Somebody's casting spells on him. The damage his army. Oh yeah, they're spreading out and just mass pillaging. Right, Father's Rest is unlocked. We're up against a whole bunch of Steel Shapers. That's a lot of healing. Um, we're up against a whole bunch of defensive stuff. Let's go for it. Um, do I have any support spells I could pre-cast? Nope. I think we just go into the battle. Uh, wish me luck. Now, we're going to take a big old chunk of damage at the start of this battle, which is a bit of a problem. I'm curious how the auto combat comes out, because I would just take a win. Honestly. Wow, really? Okay, so we collect 200 gold. We completely annihilate them. Um, a whole bunch of my units level up. I'm curious to see how this replay plays out. All right, we'll do a little bit of a replay cast here. So we're up against the... Well, my dragon is bigger than your dragons. Although, there you are. 
I took the aspect of Materium. So this is like Materium versus Materium. So he sets himself up defensively. He bolsters all of his defenses, as you would expect him to do with all those Steel Shapers. He recruited a lot of Steel Shapers. Um, I think his logic was maybe to make his dragon unkillable. My dragon ran forward, drops the bomb. We drop the fat heal, unleash the beast, unleash the beast, unleash the beast, okay. The bolt repeaters open fire, damaging the walls. We start firing off little blasts. Wow, the wolf is in, man. Aggression is the name of the game. That crit chance is insane. The level of damage here that my units are outputting on this first real turn of the battle is kind of crazy, actually. Um, they have just crit every single attack. Well, that one grazed, like making me a liar. Now, let's see how, how good of a turn do they get on the counterattack. So the bolt towers activate. They get a few shots off. Oh, big old dragon breath. Damn, he smashed his own walls. All right. They're holding the line. They don't seem to want to come out of the walls. They seem to want to hold inside. A little bit of steel shaping, bolstering defense, healing the whole lot. So he ran forward, slapped, slapped that little lizard in the booty. He slapped that lizard in the booty. They really just don't do enough damage. I think now that my beasts have super growth, I think that, that has made them an awful lot scarier. Oh, combat went out of sync. I have to just assume that I won, right? These guys escaped on one HP, which almost certainly means that slip away triggered right before the end of the battle. So when this unit's hit points are reduced to zero, it's deplaced by three hexes and heals 15 temporary hit points once works once per battle. Yeah, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that victory because I don't think I could get a good, a, as good an outcome. That's an easy clap for me. So celebrating the defeat of Vox Sebast the Forge Father, we could hold a parade. It's a good way to get extra Imperium. We could spiritually guide him at a cost of mana to get alignment. Turning money into Imperium is an interesting choice. I think I'll try to bring my alignment back to neutral if I can. So I'll, I'll pay the mana. So that is one of my three dragon foes defeated. Next up is going to be arguably the most difficult of all of the dragons to go against. Um, the Chaos Dragon. Um, Al Alapavar the Destroyer. He's going to be an extremely difficult foe to defeat. We're going to vassalize this conquered city. And I need to think about where I'm going to go next. I think it's got to be to go down to the Altar of Destruction. So let's get our units teleporting over to the teleporter to go join the front line. I will leave... Um, who will I leave? I'll leave you in charge of making sure the city gets vassalized. I don't want anyone poking in and causing a problem for me. I'll break you off your army so you can go quickly build that outpost. Let's go for the Town Hall communal tent. Boom. Let's go ahead and take Revitalize. This will give us regeneration. Wait, is that what I want to take on my main hero? No, I think I want things like defensive training and strength training to make his uh, his army stack better. So let's go ahead and execute Istilar the Shield. And this should upgrade our Dragon Horde a little bit. It's starting to be at a, a, a quite a nice bit of money per turn um, that's coming from the new old Dragon Horde. Like what is that? 60, 75 gold, 75 mana, roughly speaking. That's... That's a respectable amount of resources per turn. I'm probably paying for one of my army stacks. So we got this outpost over here. We're going to go ahead and grab the uh, ancient cave, the layer of silk to that. That'll get us an extra five Imperium per turn. Well, actually technically six because we're getting 20% boost. Um, a ruined province can be rebuilt. I don't know if I want to rebuild this city yet um, because it's just in a precarious position. I will go for the golem mine re Pair, at least. They want me to declare a declaration of friendship. I just, I can't afford it. It's too expensive. Sorry. I wish there was a retreat button because god damn this is going to be a hard battle. I may lose all my units here trying to win this. Now I do have a slippery sneaky strategy. So where are the most berserkers? Most of the berserkers are on the right side. So I will have two little slithery boys over here on the right side. Everyone else is going to run bottom left. I wonder why they're playing so defensively when it's their attack that they're doing. But here's the thing. They should never be able to catch these little squirrels that I have. Um, and we can totally just catch these steel shapers out. So this is going to be a long and arduous battle of very careful positioning and baiting. And we're basically going to have to run in circles and do what we can and use as much skirmishing potential as we can. And avoid direct engagements, particularly with their berserkers. Now getting poisoned is going to suck for us. But these little squirrel boys, uh, their job is to keep them on the run. Now... We have to essentially full move all the way to the other side of the battlefield every turn. I can never stop and really take a shot. We basically have to be in full mobility, full retreat mode to stream in 
as many of their troops as possible. So I'm going to do a Sundered defense on this guy. Step forward twice and then shoot. Boom, boom. Step forward twice and then do a shot. Boom, boom. One little, one little snake man runs forward and finishes him off. Get around the back. Uh, get around the front. Get around the side. Do I want to take that poison? I don't want to take that poison. Uh, you step forward two tiles. Shoot him. Bang, bang. You step forward to here. Shoot your little poison dart. Pachung. Um, bite, bite. Bite. Okay, that's two enemy units down. Potentially three or four if I can catch this. We might be able to peel off a couple of units from their stack. Let's see how they play it. All right, he flanks me. Yeah, we're getting chased by their Sunderers and their ranged units. That's normal. So you get to here. Now, if I do some tile calculating, how do I get the grid to show? Let me see here. So this is one, two. So you are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles away from this unit. So what I need to try and peel this guy off, I think, is to put a unit within seven tiles of him. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So someone has to be around here, which I think I can do this turn to try and peel off a few of these units to chase. Let's finish off this archer naturally. Two tiles to the right. Shoot. Um, three tiles to the right and shoot. I'm not expecting these fury shots to do much. I'm just hoping to get a little bit of free damage. Now, how close do I have to get again? I need to get within seven tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to get right there. So you're gonna go to here and you're gonna go into defense mode. I'm gonna try and bait this hero over towards you. Now, we need to deal with the steel shaper at the same time. So let's get behind him, get over there, um, Bring over as many as I can. Can you get into melee range? You can. Perfect. Oh, you weren't meant to run through the poison. We'll take little venom shots. Kill. I want to save as much mana as I can. So what's their morale looking like? We've managed to give them low morale, which is going to lower their crit chance. Let's see how they respond. He blinked over. This is great for us. They're still chasing the shitty units. We pulled an archer and an archer. Okay, we pulled a lot of stuff to the left. That's okay. You guys flee into a position. Um, the big thing is if we could bring down the hero with no losses. Let's mark him as prey. Do I think I can get this? So if I get you into range, that'll be 37 damage. You into range, that'll be 31 damage. So that's a combined total of 60-ish. Let's just go for it. Boom, boom. The graze isn't good. Come on. Enemy hero defeated. Now morale should be really poor for these guys. Let's poison them. We're gonna do a little bit of a retreat next turn to stabilize. Poison them again. Critical hit, good, good, good. His morale is starting to break. Now he has a 40% chance to, to fail. My goal is to get into a position where my archers can get good shots next turn. All right, let's see how we play. Okay, that's painful. That fixes their morale problem. All right, we lost two skinky boys, but remember they have resurgence, they do come back. Um, now, if we're gonna do some healing, I think what we'll do is call the wild or do we drop a blossom of life to heal everyone? I think we blossom of life to keep everyone healthy. If we step forward two tiles with you, we can start maybe doing a bit of damage here. You can kill this guy pretty easily. Now that is a sacrifice that you made right there. You can get over here. You can get over here. I think I can take out this archer with melee attacks. Big crits. Boom. Lovely. Let's keep hitting their archers. Those, that's their DPS. We need to take out the damage potential. If we can get a flank on him, we take it. Do I shoot a bolt or do I get behind him and hit him? I think if we get behind him, it's better. Because flanking attacks, I think, do flanking attacks hurt? Yeah, flanking attacks hurt their morale. Go for the archer. Keep that archer in zone of controls. Um, now, hoping for a couple of crits here. No crit, that's okay. Uh, undo that move, sorry. Boom, boom. Hoping to trigger his steadfast. Okay, we did. And now we're hoping to just reduce the number of people in his stack. So you've got four strengthens. That's pretty good. We could kill that archer. I think I'd rather just bring this guy down to really low health. Uh, so one berserker down this turn. Let's see how that plays out. Big damage, big damage, fumble, hit, okay. All right, we lost a couple of skinkies, that's okay. Now, um, I think the obvious thing to do here is to finish this guy. Morale is low, can we get it lower? I think we can. This guy's got a lot of health for a Pathfinder. Get behind him, maybe that wasn't the right move. Let's undo that. So we need to bring down this Berserker, I think, next. So mark him as prey, we'll move this archer forward two tiles. Boom, boom, move this archer forward Two tiles as well. Boom, boom. So that's him into berserk mode. We can double melee strike this guy to put him into a bad spot. You're in a pretty bad zone of control. You can get around behind this guy and flank strike him. So can you. There's a really good flank strike. Um, and then you might be able to get up here and get a kill. 
Perfect. <sighs> All right, we're up against two full health berserkers, um, but enemy morale is really low. Um, and we haven't taken any damage on our main DPS units, which are the archers. And we've still got some regen on our side. Oh, some of them are fleeing. That's huge. Um, the only thing we got to deal with is this guy, and I think we win. Now, talk about a very, very difficult and interesting battle where we make use of resurgence. Um, skirmisher units splitting up the AI. That is what I, that, that felt like a Legend of Total War disaster battle right there. Now, not exactly, but we were... You know, if, if we fight that battle head on, we lose it every single time. But if we fight it exactly the way that I fought it there, uh, we win it. As can be demonstrated by the fact that we won the battle. Some weird, like, graphical square thing is going on. We're getting ready for... This is... Ooh, man, this is actually going to be maybe one of the hardest battles I'll engage in this entire campaign. And I'll have to do it with an ally stack going up against Alapavar the destroyer but we're going to be doing that in the next episode i want to thank you guys very much for watching love you all very much and i'll see you guys next time bye bye